Well, it's the final week of the home slate. Two more weeks left of the regular season, that is. Uh, the dogs are in second place in the Mountain West, and this week they have Colorado State coming to town here, which will be actually senior day for all of our five seniors here this week, and a chance for them to kind of be uh, celebrated before the match there. So we'll also celebrate uh, Marissa Brand here, our red shirt senior outside hitter here, up close here with a kind of a senior look back uh, feature. So let's go back to the very start of uh, your participation in the sport. What age were you when you started playing, clubs you're on, and maybe any distinct memories you have of that? I started playing volleyball uh, my freshman year of high school, actually. Um, I got put on the varsity team my freshman year, and I had no idea what the coach saw in me, but apparently I was tall, and so she put me on there, and um, ever since then, it's just been my love. And I played for Quest Volleyball Club my freshman year, and then after that, I played for um, Long Beach Mizuno. So. So then we'll talk about your positions you played. Were you always an outside hitter? Do you switch around a little bit? I actually played middle blocker. Um, that's what I was recruited as um, at Fresno State. But for high school, I played outside hitter. So I kind of did two, two things. So what were your memories there first starting in the sport? Oh, uh, man, that was an experience. I was so like uncoordinated and tall and lanky, and it was really awkward at first. But um, I developed into the player that I am, so it's awesome. Did you play other sports before volleyball? Yes, I played soccer for 10 years, and um, then I uh, played basketball too, and I actually played badminton in high school. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. So what was the difference between uh, badminton and volleyball for you to stick with one, not the other? <laughs> um, I was a little too tall for badminton, so um, volleyball suited me better. So how, what ages were you when you played soccer and, and basketball? I was, I started playing soccer when I was super young, I can't even tell you the ages, and um, basketball, I was probably in seventh grade, so, so I stopped playing my sophomore year in high school. Was it hard to give up either one of those sports, you switched to volleyball? Um, you know, not really. Uh, a lot of people saw a lot of potential in me with volleyball, and uh, so I just pursued that and it's gotten me here, so. Obviously, it's a, it's a hotbed of talent there in Orange County, so you probably had a chance to look at some major schools around the, the conference and also around the country. What brought you to Fresno State? I love the community support that Fresno has for its athletics, um, and I loved our coaches, and it was a rebuilding pr rebuilding year, and I want to be a part of that, so. And Coach uh, Lauren Netherby Sewell is in her sixth year at the head here at the, the Bulldog program. And you're in your fifth year, so you probably had a chance to kind of grow with the program, and so is she. Talk about the differences you see now with the team now compared to back then. You know, our team could not be closer. We are a family, and um, that's, that's grown throughout the years. You know, we're not playing for ourselves; we're playing for each other. And uh, I've watched Lauren develop, which is awesome because she's hilarious. <coughs> and um, our team has a lot of fun, and that's that's changed over the years. So, so are you talking about the dance parties here after the various <laughs> matches? Yes, we have some crazy dance parties, and our our trips, our bus trips, are crazy. But um, such fun memories. Want to trade them for a thing? So what's your uh, go-to dance move if you need to try to <laughs> win the competition? Um, probably the robot. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's pretty good. <laughs> Thank you. Talk about a little bit kind of off, off the court, too, some of your memories you might have with this team um, besides the bus stuff. Is there other things like roommates or funny incidents that have happened that you still never forget? Um, I would just say all the jokes that we play on each other on the road, um, like, for example, this past year, my roommates and I, we left like little fake cockroaches in Lauren's room. Um, when we, I don't even know where we were. I think we were in Colorado. And she got so scared, and it was hilarious to see her reaction. So <laughs> just fun jokes like that. And like I said, we have a lot of, a lot of fun on the road, um, especially after big time wins. We have dance parties on the bus, and you know, we eat really good food too, so I'm going to miss that. <laughs> Is there a certain restaurant or a certain place or a trip that you might miss the most? Um, man, we've gone to some good places, but probably uh, Bangkok Cuisine from Reno, the Indian food restaurant we go to. So. What's your go-to meal? Thai food. Was it Thai food? Thai food, yeah. Thai food. <laughs> What's your favorite <laughs> meal there? Good. Excuse me? What's your favorite meal there? Um, I think I get the curry. I think, yeah, that's what I get. Nice. So obviously teams had a, a great year this year, 17 wins, second in the conference, and 18 last year. Big turnaround for the team from where it was been uh, back, you know, several years before. What are your uh, favorite memories on the court? Um, probably those big time wins. For example, um, our recent win at Boise State, um, 
some of the best wins of my career have been at Boise State, and this year was the best one. Um, just coming back from 19, they were up 23-19, and we just came back and won. That was awesome. So I'm going to miss memories like that. You're also well uh, established here on the career list for the Bulldogs, ranked top five in kills all time, career-wise also top ten, and I think in digs and also two. But you had a chance to kind of like have, have your role change year by year here. What are some things you're most proud of if you look back at your career? Uh, the, the one thing that I'm the most proud of is obviously um, coming back from my ACL injury. Um, I rehabbed over six months and got back on the court as soon as I could, and um, that was a huge accomplishment for me. And just to come back that next year and um, get back out on the court with my team was awesome. I'm really proud of myself for that. Who are the key people as far as the recovery process for you mentally? Was it parents or family <laughs> or friends or coach that helped you along the way? Uh, it was definitely um, my teammates, my friends. Um, I have to give so much thanks to um, our athletic trainers for putting so much work and dedication to helping me get back, back out there. And um, our coaches are amazing. I've been through a few coaches since I've been at Fresno State, and every single one of them had a huge impact on um, my journey here. So I thank them. You're also one of the strongest students in the classroom, not only in the team, but also in the athletic department there. The 4.0, several, several semesters here, and also an academical district honoree a couple times. Let's go back through some of your favorite classes you've had here. Well, I came to Fresno State as a business major, actually. I don't know what I was thinking because I hate math, and I quickly realized that. And um, one of my favorite professors, uh, Candace Scrapic, she I took an introductory CRIM course with her, and that's what changed my path. And uh, so CRIM 10, which is Intro to Criminology, was one of my favorite classes. And then I took um, CRIM 153 with her, which is Psychology of Crime. That's my all-time favorite class. Um, but after being given a fifth year to play here, I decided to major in psychology, um, double major. Um, and I've really enjoyed taking cognitive psych, abnormal psych, and social psych. So. So what's your favorite like cop show or like law and order, law, law and order show on TV? I do like all those shows, but my favorite would probably be Criminal Minds. Really? Definitely, by far. Do you ever get like kind of like grossed out or scared by some of the situations or? Uh, I definitely freak myself out, especially if I'm watching them alone at home or it's like dark and stuff. So I probably shouldn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you've been a part of this program for so long now. What are some of the little things you might miss from this the daily routine? I'm just going to miss being out there with my teammates on that court every single day. Um, you know, you take for granted all that hard work sometimes, you know, getting up at 6 in, in the morning and having to go through all those workouts and, um, you know, those long days on the court. But looking back, I'm definitely going to miss those experiences and just going through all the, all the trials and everything with my team. So. You mentioned your majors there. Do you know kind of like what career path you want to go with those down the mm -hmm. road? I want to pursue graduate school, um, definitely in psychology. I'm not sure which area yet, but I hope to figure that out pretty soon. Do you have a dream job you'd love to have down the road? Um, dream job? Well, my dream job would actually to be a food taster, you know, like one of those people who go on, goes on the shows and is like, oh, that sucks, or that's really good. Uh -huh. But that's not my dream job. Um, I want to pursue school psychology, so maybe get be a school psychologist or something like that. So if you had to be a food taster, what would be your favorite uh, <laughs> food to, to, to try to taste? Desserts. Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> yes. So what's the best dessert you've had on the road, or do you not get desserts on the with road? The oh gosh, did we get a dessert on the road? Well, the best dessert. Technically, we weren't allowed to have it, but one of my teammates, maybe two years ago, Lauren Berger, mm. she ordered Lauren, our coach, a. Um, brownie for uh -huh. her birthday, uh -huh. which it wasn't her birthday. <laughs> but we figured if we ordered the brownie, she wouldn't just let it sit there, you know, she'd yeah. let us eat it. And um, Lauren actually took the brownie and shoved it in the other Lauren's face, <laughs> kind of to mock her, and uh, we still ate it, so <laughs> that was probably the best one. That's awesome. Well, I'm sure there's lots of people here who have helped you get to the point where you're at here with you know, all the accomplishments you've had, both in the, <clears> on the court and also in the classroom. So let's turn now to give some thank yous to various friends or family or teammates. Well, first and foremost, i got to thank God for even giving me this opportunity to be out here and come to Fresno. It's opened a ton of doors for me, and I've had the best experiences of my life. Um, definitely thanking my parents, uh, huge supporters in absolutely everything that I do. And um, every game they've been to, whether it be all the way out in Hawaii or up here in Fresno, um, I just thank them for that. And my brothers and sisters, um, 
all their support, my friends for coming to all of my games, um, all of the uh, faculty and staff that have helped me on this journey, um, recovering from my injury, just getting me to Fresno in the first place, uh, everything, and last but not least, my teammates and my coaches, just making this the most memorable time of my life, and uh, my coaches especially for always believing in me and just, um, you know, giving me everything that they can every single day, so. You've had a chance to play the Save Mart Center a lot here, too. Tell us some of the favorite memories you have as far as just the people you've met here or, or just the things like the hallways or the locker room or things like that. Save Mart Center is awesome. Um, by far one of the best facilities in the nation. Um, our locker room is super cool, and I'm going to miss that because I feel like a, a professional walking in here every day. Um, so that I'm definitely going to miss that one. And, you know, just playing in front of our crowd, we have an awesome – awesome fan base and um, they've supported us every single day and I'm going to miss that definitely. And also I think you've been pretty busy off the court too with volunteer type stuff and being active in the community. What are some of your memories you'll have from those experiences? I really enjoyed um, working with the Children's Hospital. Um, I've been a part of the Big Hero Little Hero program for a couple of years and um, we've done a few clinics and visited the playroom a few times over at the Children's Hospital so I've enjoyed that. and. I also became a uh, peer mentor for the Wayfinders program at Fresno State, and um, my mentor, my mentee, Morgan, um, and all of her friends, they always come to all of our games, and so um, I'm just going to miss those experiences, too. I think you're also involved in the Student Athlete Advisory Committee, too. Talk yes. about that a little bit, too, and what your role is as president of that. <laughs> well, I joined SAC, uh, I think, my sophomore year, and um, ever since then, I've kind of worked my way up the leadership. Um, board up there. I started off as just a campus outreach uh, chair and then moved on to secretary and I am president so I've had different roles. Um, this year is quite an experience, it's a lot of work, um, but we're trying to make Fresno State Athletics the best that it could possibly be and SAC is a huge part, part of that and um, we're trying to make the student athlete experience one of the best that they have here. And um, we're planning some awesome things. We're planning this huge holiday party out um, at our new um, student athlete lounge area, and so it's really exciting. And we're actually also hosting a blood drive event um, in December. So that's awesome. Well, do you know what day that is yet? Yes, it is uh, the thirteenth Friday. No, yes, yep, December thirteenth Friday. Um, Friday the thirteenth. That's scary. But um, and then the fourteenth Saturday at um, the women's basketball game. So. That's awesome. Well, make sure we'll look forward to the seeing you out there, too. I'm sure you'll be giving blood at that, that event yeah, there, too. Definitely. But uh, this Thursday before that, uh, we host Wyoming at 7 o'clock, and then Colorado State is a free admission to all fans. Everybody can get in the door for absolutely free, 11 a.m. start, and also is going to be senior day. So we'll look forward to seeing you on the court. Thank you. Go dogs. <laughs>